Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to do a little bit of a different show. Uh, Apple's made some announcements this week regarding the future of macOS Server. And I'm sure many of you may have heard that already or you might have heard it through social media. And so I thought I'd do a specific screencast kind of addressing the changes that they're looking at just to uh, kind of help you be prepared, kind of know where things are going, and uh, and just to kind of set the stage for that. I've had a number of you ask me kind of my thoughts on it, so I thought I'd do a screencast to talk about it and uh, just kind of go over some of the changes and then uh, just some ideas initially on the way forward, knowing full well that we don't know exactly how everything's going to play out. So if I just uh, come down here, let me just pull up Apple's uh, announcement here. And so here I have it. Uh, on Apple's web page. And so basically what Apple is saying is that they're looking at deprecating a number of uh, services that are in the server application uh, by spring of 2018, uh, which means it's probably going to be right around WWDC as to when they're going to start uh, deprecating those services. Now, the services are going to be hidden in the future installations. And so uh, what that means is that when things are hidden, uh, let me just come to server here, uh, if they start to hide services on the sidebar here, you can find them by coming up to the view area and you'll start to see those services inside here. And if you just select them, then they will show in the sidebar so that you'll have them ready to go. And so that's what that means when they say hiding, the, hiding those services. In fact, let me just slide this out here for a minute just so you can see it uh, and just click back into that. Now, what they're going to do is in the future, they're going to be you know, completely deprecating the uh, actual services so that they're getting rid of them. And so what Apple is looking at doing is focusing more now on uh, profile manager and being able to manage devices and storage instead of running a full-fledged uh, server application with all of the services that we're used to. So it really is a major change, and Apple has been slowly moving different services and things into the OS, as we've talked about in our earlier screencast, where we talked about the caching service and time machine server and all that kind of stuff being moved into system preferences. Now what's happening is, is they're starting to cut out all these other services as well. So if you look here, it shows you the different services that will no longer longer be available and I've got my sidebar over here of server just so you can see what's left so calendars are going to go away so we can get rid of that one uh, what they have done is they've given you a couple of different services that you can look at that might help replace the actual calendar server there uh, they're getting rid of contacts uh, they're getting rid of DHCP which is over there uh, DNS is going away which is going to be interesting to see uh, what that does to change how Profile Manager works, because Profile Manager and Open Directory are highly dependent on DNS. So maybe there's something they're going to bake into that that's going to make that work so you don't have to worry about it. I'm not really sure. Uh, if you scroll down, you see we've got Mail is going away, uh, Messages, Net Install, VPN is going away as well as uh, websites and the wiki. So all of those different services are going away and Apple has offered uh, next to that uh, different options that you can use to replace those different services. So when we take a look at what's left here on the sidebar, uh, obviously we have things like certificates and all of that that are still showing up here. Users and groups would need to be available if you're going to manage profiles for devices. Uh, but all of these are going away with the exception of Profile Manager um, and Open Directory. And I'm not really sure about software update because they didn't mention that. Uh, though software update is a hidden feature in server anyway, so this would probably go away as well. And the other thing they didn't mention was the uh, XSAN uh, setup if you've got that particular um, server running. So basically, it looks like the entire server application is being gutted and change uh, of direction is happening, and they're going just to managing devices. So uh, again, for those of us that rely on it or those of you that are using it quite a bit, this is uh, not good news uh, because now all of a sudden we're going to have to migrate to other services and other options. Um, but at least Apple is letting everybody know ahead of time. And as we talked in, in the start of this particular series, uh, my assumption was Apple was moving more and more in the direction of integrating things into the operating system. So that means a lot of the GUI elements are going away, you know, in terms of this interface. Uh, what we don't know is if they're going to include these things that have always sort of been present in the operating system in the future or whether you have to do your own version and install them. Uh, that stuff's going to work out as it goes. But I, I wanted to get this screencast out there to let you know, especially for those of you that are relying on it, there is time. Uh, I will be doing screencasts on ways to replace those services and other options and things like that so I can help you out so that nobody's kind of left in the cold. 
Again, Apple changes their mind all the time, so who knows what they might change their mind on here, but I thought it was really important to get this uh, screencast out there because I'm sure you've heard the buzz about it, or if you haven't, well, at least now you can see what's there so that you know what's coming. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do some screencasts to help you f uh, find ways to replace it. Uh, again, we just don't know what everything's going to look like in the future, but, but I will... I'll be working on that for you because I don't want to leave you hanging. Uh, a couple of things that you can do right now, though, that would be important. And uh, I would just say, let me pull up a finder here and let's go to our applications area. Uh, what I would do uh, in here is I would go down and make sure that I made a copy of the actual server application itself. And so if I just come down to server, make sure that you've got uh, a copy of this backed up in a few different places, because as long as you're running High Sierra uh, or if you're running other operating systems down below, uh, you can run the original version of the server ap application and it should work. And so that will buy you more time uh, to be able to work on that. In fact, if you look at how Apple tends to phase it out, you probably would have uh, another you know, couple years after uh, they start to phase things out for it to still be functional and working fine, which again, just buys you time uh, to make that happen. Uh, the other thing I would do is alongside of that, uh, I would make a copy of the install image of uh, either macOS Sierra or High Sierra, depending on which one you're running. Uh, again, if you're running Sierra, that means things like file sharing and all that are still included in the server applications. So I just make a copy of those installers as well as a copy of the application and keep that somewhere uh, so that you've always got it. The other thing I would do is I would make sure before you do automatic updates to the server application anymore that you would read what the update is doing. Uh, and you can check that. Uh, again, I'm just going to pull up a bunch of windows here today. Uh, you can check that in uh, the App Store. Let me just pull that up right here. If we just come up here and type in server. and come right in here, you'll be able to see on the update, so I make sure your automatic updates are off, what's new in each version. And so whenever the new version comes out, it tells you what it's doing, what it's removing, what it's adding. And I would just use that as your gauge to start to see if and when they start to remove different services that you don't do the automatic updates on it that first you take a look at this, especially those of you that might be depending on some of the services that they're looking at removing. Uh, let me just uh, pop this down here and this. So again, not not ideal, but uh, it's one of those things that does happen uh, over time, and it seems like Apple was moving that way with uh, the recent series of updates. But again, like I said, there are uh, some options to replace that stuff, uh, even uh, options with different hardware without having to go you know, all the way to just command line type of stuff, though you can do that as well. And so I'll be uh, working to uh, show you how that works. Again, with the channel, like obviously I'm still going to be continuing to do a screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. And so it will still include server things and some more advanced things, but I just wanted to let you know of the changes that were coming. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.